Hello, hi everyone. To uh, just say uh, uh, good morning. I was going to show you a little bit about the Rolex Milgas. Uh, whenever I bought this wife, well, my wife bought me this wife uh, for my birthday. I've, I've been wanting it for a long time. We uh, own an imaging center, and we wanted to try to uh, complement that with the 1,000 Gauss Milgas, the thing that's uh, impervious to 1,000 Gauss or something that's. Uh, uh, of high magnetism. So uh, that's what the Rolex represents. It was uh, made, and there's a whole history behind it about kind of um, what, why the watch was made as a tool watch for engineers, people around uh, electromagnetic stuff all the time, and uh, they didn't want to compromise their watch, right? So here it is. You got the Rolex Milgauss. Let's go ahead and flip The lightning bolt, the orange lightning bolt, and the orange dials there. We've got the luminous blue, and then you got that green Rolex brand sapphire crystal, a process so complicated they said they would not patent it because it was too complicated. And you got the smooth bezel and the steel bracelet. So what's pretty interesting is uh, here we are at our imaging center, and... Uh, We've got a weight bearing open in Mirage. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. So here we go. We got, and uh, if I get too close to the magnet with the phone, the phone starts to glitch and turn off. But I want to kind of show you here. So Andrew, come here. Come here, Andrew. Let me so hold that. Just hold it. Just hold it right about there for me. So we're gonna take the Rolex Milgauss. There it is. And we're gonna kind of let me see here. We're gonna go to about. Walk in the room just a bit, and I'm gonna try to stick my hand out and see if you can see that orange dial. And as I get closer and closer to the magnet, right about they can't see your hands. Whoops, right about right here, I feel the watch tugging on my wrist, it's tugging on the wrist. Can you zoom in on that, Cash? Yep. And you see that the lightning bolt is still going. So I am almost fully in the magnet right now. And the lightning bolt is still going. And I can feel it. If you can see the watch, it shakes. I might take it off here in a second just show you. But the lightning bolt is still going. As I go in closer into the magnet, it stops right there. Right there. If you can, can you zoom in on the lightning It's bolt? already done. It stops. So I'm right out here. About. There it goes. It goes back on. Just whenever I'm outside of the open field there. But if, the closer I get, that's right about where the, the, the lightning bolt stops. But you can see here, the watch really does. Uh, hold, hold, hold that for me, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to take it off. So you got the steel bezel. Single class. Let's come, come on into the magnet here. You got this? You watching it? And well, the watch kind of comes up. Whoa. Right there. So is the... If you can go on this side, Cash. Can you zoom in? Is the lightning bolt still moving? No. So is the lightning bolt stopped there? I can't see it. How about now? Still stopped. It's still, still. stopped. Till about is it? Tell me whenever it starts to move. Keep on going. Should be moving there. Wow. Yeah, it started to move right over here. It just started to move right, th right over here. So, okay, let's try this again. So we've got the Rolex. We're going to hold it. Go. Focus on the lightning bolt. You got that? Are we recording still yet? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to see when the lightning bolt stops. And it stops. Or Still going. 
And I, I feel it tugging there. Still going? Is it still going? Or is it stopping? Still going. It's still going. And you can see that it's being pulled by the magnet just a little bit there, everything. And it's still going. I can still see it going. It's probably struggling a little bit. But it's still going there as it pulls the watch. It's still going. Still going. Still going. Man, it's still going. It's really pulling the watch here. It's probably stopped right there. Is it still going? Can you see it? Nope. Is it stopped there? Let me check. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Stopped. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you know, the watch does have its limits. But the further you bring it into this magnet here, I'm not gonna, the, the I more can't... dense. I have a date just, and in the date just, it's not nearly this strong whenever uh, coming in contact with the magnet. But the more dense the object, this thing has a Faraday cage, and it kind of similar to what we're standing in right now, called the Faraday cage. Uh, so to uh, help prevent interference within the movement there. So. Uh, that's how the Rolex Milgauss stands up to a open MRI machine. Um,